Hi guys, today I wanted to share with you uh, my new ball rig that I'm going to use for my upcoming short geometry exercise. Uh, it's kind of a simpler rig, but it does everything a bouncing ball could could do, everything you want it to do. So you can use it for uh, basic animation exercises, for like bouncing balls, rolling balls, whatever, any kind of ball animation you'd want to do. This is kind of the ultimate rig for that. So let's see what it can do. We have an all mover for uh, just placing the ball in the scene wherever you want to. It's also scalable, which is pretty cool because usually when you use squash and stretch, stretch um, controls on your rig, it kind of gets messy when you try to scale it, but this works perfectly fine. Uh, you have the ball mover itself for actually animating the ball as it moves along. You can also rotate it with this control. Uh, you have an additional controller just for rotation if you want to have some kind of secondary rotation for the ball. Uh, you can't do anything but rotate this control. And then you have the squash and stretch controls, which is pretty cool because the, ball, the ball's shape actually changes the more you stretch it. And you can do it from both sides, it doesn't matter. So I think that's pretty fun. And also, another really cool thing about it is that you can actually rotate the location of the squash and stretch controls and then you can stretch it from different places so it doesn't have to be just the top and the bottom you can stretch it from anywhere you want so that could be very handy um, you can download that rig for free from uh, bloopanimation.com slash ball dash rig uh, I'm going to put that link in the show notes too, so go ahead and get it if you want and let me know um, how it works for you. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.